Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 Eric. Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to talk a little bit about the Xbox. So PlayStation just recently released their sales figures. We've also been talking about the great success that Nintendo had with the Nintendo Switch. The thing with Xbox is that they don't periodically update their sales figures. In fact, they're kind of quiet about them. The one thing that we do know about the Xbox Series X is that this was, according to them, their most successful console launch ever so i don't know if that can exactly give us a ballpark estimate of what has been done but this article courtesy of kitguru.net provides some good speculation and insight to what has gone on so we're going to talk about a little bit i personally love this console generation sure the games seem to be a little bit dry a little bit of a slow drip feed but there's still so much potential out there for what's to come especially gameplay wise mechanics wise um, these consoles are in high demand so of course these are going to be some of the most successful consoles ever but it is an exciting time so we're going to read this article about the series x and series s and how many consoles have reportedly been shipped around here so yeah just keep in mind there is no sales figures that are accurate for microsoft but if this is your first time coming to the channel guys why don't you click that red subscription button down here and enable your bell notifications so you're alerted when I go live or upload. So Xbox Series XS has reportedly shipped around 3 million units. So there's reportedly 3 million units. That's a fairly sizable portion. It's not the huge humongous amount that Sony is claiming has been sold, but 3 million units shipped out there. You know what? Good on you, Xbox. So it says, while console manufacturers such as Sony and Nintendo periodically update their console sales figures, letting the industry know just how many units are out in the wild, Microsoft seized this practice a number of years ago, meaning Xbox sales figures can never be 100% accurate. Now, I have no idea why they decided to do that, why they decided to never reveal their sales figures. Is it a way of them kind of doing damage control, maybe... Maybe trying to avoid being laughed at for lack of sales in the past because the Xbox One was definitely not doing good compared to the PlayStation 4. I have no idea. Why did they do that? Can somebody clue me in in the comment section down below? I just find it kind of odd. Almost like they're avoiding failure by reading that. Maybe just not even paying attention to it. Maybe it's a strategy, a business strategy that they don't care how much they sell or do. I honestly have no clue. So if somebody can clue me in down below, let me know. So continuing on with the article, it says, that being said, oop, here we go, we actually click the link. That being said, according to one industry and analyst, Microsoft is estimated to have sold around 3 million units. So this is all speculation from an analyst. Nothing 100% hard numbers confirmed. All right, so... Don't get triggered <laughs> if you think I'm giving bait out here. But anyways, continue on. It says, recently during its fiscal earnings report, Sony announced that it had shipped 4.5 million PS5 consoles between its launch on the 12th of November and the 31st of, no of December. So during the first part of the year, during its fiscal earnings report, Sony reported 4.5 million PS5 consoles shipped. So 3 million units of the Xbox Series X is not bad. It's only 1.5 million behind. That's actually pretty good, I would venture to say, especially considering how much more in demand the PS5 seems to be. Now this is according to industry analyst Daniel Ahmad, when asked about how many Xbox Series X S consoles Microsoft sold during the same period, Ahmad offered an estimate saying, take a bit over 1 million of the PS5 number and you won't be far off. So he's speculating here. Again, this is just an analyst that is just kind of throwing a number out here. So take this with a grain of salt. There's no hard numbers because Microsoft, of course, doesn't give their information out. Now, continuing on, it says, while some may take this as an indicator of one system being more popular than the other, both consoles have been selling out as soon as new stock is made available. If you've been following the channel <laughs> if you've been keeping up with the ps5 and xbox series x updates that i've been providing you know that is a fact that both consoles have been selling out like hotcakes these are the most in-demand consoles i can ever recall there ever being 
to be honest. Now, it does say, as such, the difference in console shipped is said to be due to the fact that Microsoft started manufacturing the consoles later than Sony, which allowed Sony to produce roughly 1 million more consoles. So, I guess Sony had a jump start as far as the production line goes, so of course there'll be more. I don't know. Either way, it's still early according to this, and while both consoles appear to be off to a strong start, it'll be interesting to see the long-term sales of both systems and how they'll compare to previous generations, which is very interesting to think about. Uh, again, Microsoft went on record not long ago to specifically state that this had been the most successful Xbox launch for a console ever. So take that for what you will. I, I think the Series X has definitely been killing it. I love the PS5 as well. I tend to not play console wars. I tend to want to stay right in the middle, enjoy the best of both worlds, um, enjoy you know playing all the brand new games that are coming out as well as all the cool new features, the controllers. I mean, got the Series X controller here and I have the dual sense right here and i have my switch pro controller right here so i mean i've i'm all over it when it comes to the games so i'm i'm not one to tend to focus on game sales and console sales and all that and say oh this one is better than that because they've sold this bit so much i'm just glad that the video game business is doing well now sure it attributes to the climate of the world right now we got the pandemic People were at home. They're wanting entertainment. We got Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, all the streaming services. And then we have Xbox and PlayStation and Nintendo here. In fact, you've seen all the sales. Digital video game sales have gone up in the past year. And we got to be honest, most of that is because of the pandemic. People are staying home. People are playing video games more than ever. The new consoles are hard to find. Even the Nintendo Switch is selling like hotcakes right now. So gaming is a business that is currently booming and is doing well and it's reflecting off of these numbers. I mean, the Switch has already gotten close to 80 million worldwide global sales. Um, Animal Crossing just sold 30 million copies this past year. PlayStation 5 is killing it and crushing it. Um, I really wish we would get these sales numbers from Microsoft. Again, I have no clue why they do that, why they refuse to keep them, you know, public. If somebody in the chat can let me know, that'd be a big help. <laughs> I, I, I'm not aware of that. Um, but yeah, good on Xbox. If this estimate is pretty accurate, which it sounds just to be right, it's an indication that all the companies are doing good. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much.